Right, back again ladies and gentlemen, I forgot about this kit. I've had this uh, just before Christmas I got this. Um, from China, a company in China called Dawn Grocery Store. Fantastic, even though it's China, you get it within 10 days. And I forgot, I forgot all about doing this one. It's the new, well, new-ish uh, Henschel turret from Hobby Boss. I've got the, um, I've got the, well, Porsche turret, they're both, they're both the same, they're both Krupp turrets, but the, uh, the rounded head and turret, right, rounded face turret. Obviously the production, the other one wasn't. So, yeah, so I thought I'd do this one. So it's the, uh, obviously, 135 scale, and it's um, the Tiger II Henschel turret, 1944 production. Uh, with Zimmerit as well, so and it's a nice, nice artwork. Sorry about the glare. That looks nice artwork. On the side, we have the same again, and the kit number is eight four five three one. If anybody's interested, and I think this is twenty or quid I paid for this. Maybe thirty maximum. I can't remember. I know it wasn't expensive. Um, on the other side, one of the picture sides, we have we can build four variants or four different camouflage schemes. It's there, they're quite nice. I haven't quite decided what I want to do yet, and there's a bit of information there on the. Uh, if anybody wants to, let me just get that in shot. Pause it and read it if it's uh, readable. Uh, it's obviously very. Information there saying it's not you know 14 plus to build it, this, that, and the other, as I normally say. And on the other side, we have another four variant, another four color schemes. There's quite a few of those color schemes. I'm tempted to do this one in a winter camo, like Battle of the Bulge type thing. I've got a, a nice set of German soldiers as well. I think the dragon. Uh, Winter soldiers or something like that will go quite nice with this. So I, I might do that. There's a bit of obviously there's two frets of PE and there's the um, the Zimmerit, which is very 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 thin plastic. It's already shaped and cut out. So it is a normal to me a thin, and away you go apparently. So let's have a look what's in the box as we normally do. Let's say it's a big box, quite a heavy box. Difficult to get into as well. So let me just pop that down there for now, out of the way. And as you can see, you have the usual sort of hobby horse stuff. Same with uh, Trumpeter. We have a couple of uh, things coming out of the air F14 air Tomcat Wolfpack, and then we have an M3 A1 lead version, tall 120mm howitzer M30. There's a bit of the CAD drawings of it as well. And on the reverse, we have this kit. So, a bit of information there again, so let's have a read that later on. So we'll just start off like we normally do, we'll just, I'll just move this box out of shot. I'm going to have to really sort my bench out because there's that much bloody crap on it. Right, so we'll start off with the uh, first sprue. Oh, where's my knife this time? I've just had it before, there we go. This has got sellotape on this part here. This is sabotage, I think. It certainly looks like it. Feels like it. So, let's have a look. I still can't get to the bloody thing. I don't know what they've done with this one. Okie dokie. Alright, now we can cut. Let me get rid of that plastic after. So we have two sprues here, uh, this is the running gear part, the uh, suspension, the workable suspension bar, we looks at it with torsion bars. I do like grey, I do like working with grey plastic for some reason, I really do. Nice detail. Uh, in a wheel, so you're not going to really see much of those. Detail on those is about right to me, it's not too heavy, not too soft. There's no flash or anything like that. 
few little small bits and pieces there's a couple of torsion bars and then we have the uh, suspension arms which are nice and chunky which is good yeah so we're not going to be thin and slip off and they're tapered if you look at them they're tapered which is nice so obviously uh, your wheels only go on one direction and the back to the front so obviously the smaller hole is on the uh, outer wheel which is a nice idea and then I've got a bit of the, you see this, the um, cast texture on that uh, looks like a heat vent this little part here it's got a nice bit of tack, uh, thing on it cast texture but yeah that's a nice start nice start indeed so it's quite it's ram full of plastic I must admit this uh, this is ram full of plastic right looks like we have um, yeah yeah some external stuff for the uh, the main hull and we have the it's not slide molly but it's one piece barrel which looks quite nice here's the muzzle on this one part on here, I hope it's a one piece muzzle it's uh, nice bit of internal, looks like internal workings of the uh, of the breech then, is it? and then we have the uh, <laughs> oh mine's gone blank again no Gone, 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 gone. Come back later on. There's the uh, ball mount for the machine gun again, and you can see the texture on the uh, there's texture on that. There's a slight bit of texture on the ball mount as well. There's a commander's cupola, the jack. How can you forget something like that? Hey, called old age, I think. Actually, detailed parts and say there's no flash. Nice small parts. Nice bit of cast texture on the uh, engine hatch. Looks like it's in the uh, over the M2 heat things. That must be like caps on the top. Or, uh, got that texture as well. So so far so good. Very nice. And say I'll be watching it. The moment their kits are you know they're really cheap for what you get. Right, this part here. And what we have in here, another sprue with looks like the uh, the bottom of the turret and another piece for the turret. And the fascia of the turret as well, mantlet. The uh and the uh, exhaust cowling and the gun. It's quite. It's two. Got two choices. About looks like well, one at the, sort of the end of the gun there, and there's another one there. Both got that nice cast texture on again. And underneath, if the if the uh, that nice rivet detail as well for the underneath. And there's the hatches for the driver and the radio operator and bow gunner. It's got a nice bit of texture on that as well. And same with the rest of these. As well, there we've got that nice texture. So as the uh, and mantle it again all nicely done nicely detailed and there we are there's one of the uh, for the exhaust that's got that nice texture to shame so to hide it really at times you won't be hiding them much on this thing I don't think I think there's no there's no engine shrouds I think it was only early production wasn't it with the uh, Shrouds over the exhaust, if I'm not mistaken. But nice again, and there's the, uh, sorry, before we go, that was the um, rear door for the uh, main turret, for the turret as well. It's got that nice texture. So obviously you've got the options of with Zimmer or without Zimmer, depending on which, uh, which one you're going to build. Another sprue here. There's quite a lot of plastic, quite a lot of plastic. And here we have the rear engine deck, the rear of the tank and the side skirts, a few uh, 
Pioneer tools and the mud guards. There again, we've got that nice texture on there as well in the center. It's nicely detailed again. And there's the uh, fenders, what you want to call them, mud guards, and there's the rear of the tank. Got that nice texture all over it as well. Bit of pioneer tool on the side skirts. Nice detail on those. I'll probably be uh, separating those when I get around to building this. And again, the nice detail on those as well. So, so far, it's a nice looking kit. It really is a nice looking kit. It's, it's, even, more, it's more, even more impressive with the price that you pay. I shall find out how much you pay for it in two seconds. Just two seconds, I'll actually tell you how much I paid for it. Um, where are we at? My eBay. Let me have a look. D D D. Let's see. Let's go right back for Christmas. Never find something straight away when you want it, dear. Never ever. Never ever want to find anything. Um, twenty-six pounds eighty. I paid for it. £26.80 so it's a bargain. A steal at the price. A steal. And then we have uh put the bag further off. Looks like the final drive, the uh tow cables. Looks like from the bottom of the turret, which is nicely molded again. And the final drives, which are nice, nicely detailed again. And there's a cupola again, another cupola with the uh Nice cast texture, and then we have two more of the uh, engine, uh, exhaust things. So I'll have to look into this. Should we just have a peep what's underneath there? Obviously, it's going to be delicate and small and whatever. Yeah, it's just like the uh, the cable again for the track, and some bars, some small hooks and things like that. So there's no point in taking them out of there. I'll just to show you. And then we have another, oh, here's the same one, is this the same, similar sort of thing? Yeah, that was the same, so there's four of these, that was the first one I opened, so there's no point in showing you that one again. Right, let's go to uh, the large pieces now, and see what we've got. I'm sorely tempted to do it without zimming it with a nice texture on it. I really am. It's really nice. That uh, lovely texture, rolled steel texture. That's beautiful. Even got it on the sides there as well. Really is nice. It's even more impressive when you when you look at the price, twenty six pounds eighty on eBay. Super. Right, lower turret. Oh, we have more plastic. It's uh, hidden in here as well. Quite a bit more plastic, yeah. And the lower turret. We got some nice detail on the bottom again, and you still got that nice texture as well. Really nice. Nothing much on the sides, obviously, as never is, but you still, even then you've got the texture again. The whole thing's got that rolled steel feel about it. It really is. I'm tempted eventually to get another one and do uh, one with the uh, simulator and one without. Excellent, excellent. So I can't argue with, uh, with that at all. And then we have the, uh, the turret. Superb. 
really 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 nice nice detail and, and that rolled steel texture again on the back on the, uh, the turret the detail on the top again really nice and you can even see you know the texture and the when you roll the barrel about there roll and it says obviously there's the little parts for all the grab handles and the uh, for the tracks extra track hooks but the detail is lovely I love that texture on it, really really nice, really nice. Very impressed, very impressed indeed. I have to say I want probably the, the King Tiger is one of my favourite uh, looking vehicles. Uh, quite a few of me in my stash now. Nice detail again, and say so there's no ugly injection marks or anything like that, or flash. And we have the, uh, the sprocket, which is nicely detailed again. It's even got that texture on the uh, on the spokes of the wheels. Really, really impressed with that. And again on the exhaust, you've got a bit on there as well. And then we have the return roller. Small bits and pieces for the so for the return roller. That would be for the uh, return roller. I would say to adjust for the adjustment. <coughs> Excuse me. Very 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 nice. I'll probably drill the exhaust out at least a little further if possible. You know, we've been bent. It might be a bit more difficult than that. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So. Uh, clear part, I won't take these out of the bag, is basically vision blocks and a little bit and please, then uh, telescope, telescope, uh, yeah, tele well they are really, aren't they? Periscopes, telescopes, periscopes, that looks like a light, and vision blocks and things like that. It's all these little individual bag things, let me just get them all out of here. I can pop these back in there as well. We have a ah, I see. We have another. I won't take it out. We have another uh, machine gun cover for the ball mount with the zimmer it on. Already, already on. So this is two variations we can build. We have a loose thing. I thought what that's off, but we'll find out. And there again, we have the. Uh, MG34 I think is it, I'm too sure. It's not slide moulded, just a... I'm banging these little bits out with detail, you can obviously detail it up if you wanted to. If you'll see when it's, when it's taken off the spring one things. And there's the, uh, yeah you've got two obviously, two. engine cover, sorry the engine cover, the uh, turret cover, the rear cover, the zimmer it again there, then there's the uh, for the um, latches for it, cover them, covering them up, and oh, we have another two machine guns in here as well. So it's three. I have to look into the instructions when we get round to it. And there again, they're not slide moulded, but the detail isn't too bad. I've seen worse, seen better. But, uh, I'm still impressed with the kit, very much so. Right, and we've got the Zimmerit, which is quite a bit of Zimmerit. We've got the uh, all the grills and some other little bits and pieces as well. And as you can see, it says 135 King Tiger. Yeah, it looks nice enough, nice and thin. And obviously, you get a nice bit of card there supporting it so it doesn't bend out of shape. And again, they look quite nice. Really, really do. I'm going to pop that back in there. And the decals. We'll take them out, we'll take them out. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. You get a lot of, a lot of plastic for your money. I 
so I'll just fold it back so we can see. A little bit of carrier film around the edges, but I've seen a lot worse. A bit shiny, but there again, once you get your dull coat on them, look quite nice. See what you can see the uh, carrier film there around the 100. But once you get your Microsol and Microsat on it, all this, you know, that'll disappear. So it'll look quite nice. Obviously, I've got a few variations in there and a few uh, regiments, whatever you want to call them. Right. I'm still not finished with plastic yet, and this is the uh, the Zimmerit. Okay, so this is the thin, thin plastic. I'll just take one out, and I'll show you. There's no point in taking it all out if I can without damaging anything. I'm just gonna have to pull this out, aren't we? So it's got a nice support cap, and look how thin it is. Paper thin, really nice. Sometimes make uniform, but you can always damage it, can't you? always chip it. It's all there, and it's all cut out for you as well. There's no, no need to cut anything. It's already cut for you. So that's that's an I think them and trumpeter I think could do the similar sort of thing. Well, basically the same company to be honest. Um, yeah, very impressed with that. Nice, and there's the uh, one for the turret. All the other bits, and there's obviously all these bits you can use that's, uh, you know, for something else as well, so that's quite nice. Right, the tracks, the tracks, the tracks. Individual, as you can see. Quite a few in there. There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five bags. Three, five. Five sprues. Individual guide horns you have to put on. It's a ball egg, but let's see if there's any injection marks. No, nice, nice detail. You got the two separate tracks. And then they obviously got all the uh, guide horns to put in, which won't be too bad really, because the the they should they should just sit in nicely. Yeah, they've got that nice shape. They should just drop in. They're keyed, I think. They've got almost like a key on them. So not as bad as first thought. The detail is nice, and say so there's no injection marks to uh, remove. Not that I can see in here. None at all. So that's another big plus for it. Some people don't like building these tracks. I find it quite therapeutic. You know, building them up and sanding them down while you're watching something, or watching something on YouTube, or you know, or relaxing a chair downstairs. You can just nip them off and then start sanding them. And we have some more, you know, for the tools as well. Very similar to just trumpet to do the same thing and then we can start off with the instructions but first of all I'm glad I got this kit because we have one two three four there four five variations we have doesn't give you the unit but so uh, nice colour marking again got the option and end in front two sides an aerial view on all of them. So that's one, two. Three, four, all the same thing. That was quite nice. A bit more unusual with the brown, more brown than anything else on there, the yellow. Five, six. Again, very similar markings, but they're not, if you know what I mean. Similar colours. And then we have the last two, we have the winter the winter one, one we presume. No, with no zimmerit. So we'll have to work out which one I want to do in the end with the zimmerit and which out the zimmerit. We shall see. I do like I do like this when you get the colour call outs. 
and that's in colour so you can actually see what they're, you know, they're trying to represent which is nice and the colours are for Mr Hobby, Acris, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya and Humbro so a variation there, I'm not stuck to one one company and we've got a thick -ish book instruction book obviously the first thing you've got is the uh, the bullet things for the you know telling you what what not to do like knock down glue and make a hole and cut and remove and all that kind of stuff just tells you about the tools you're going to need and then we have the sprue map on the front again which is nice all laid out nicely and that's at the front so you can actually see it and then we're starting off ah, I see I see I see you want to understand that why it's going straight to the first zimmer records modes no zimmer records modes by assemble for assembly ah, I just tell you the zimmer and what not to zimmer it no zimmer record type 2 and type 1 okay Right, so we can decide what we're going to do and then we start off with the low hole, putting the uh, suspension through. Well, it must be workable, I would have thought. Fairly straightforward, nothing too difficult in that. Both sides. And then we assemble in the, uh, the wheels. Doesn't tell you it assemble the wheels anyway, does it? On that? Oh, it does, sorry. Make eight on that. I thought it was going to be strange. So we've got eight of them. And then it's telling you the gain for the sprocket and the return roll and all the rest of the wheels. Telling you how many to make. And then we've got the uh, sprocket and the uh, final drive and all that kind of stuff to make up. Put them, but I won't put the wheels on. I don't put them on yet. I'll leave them. They'll be all cleaned up and whatever, but they won't be on. And then we're telling you about the track. How to build the track. So it looks like it's going to lock the actual... Um, Guide horns actually going to make it look like they're lock. It's going to lock it together. Be interesting. That'll be interesting. It doesn't really tell you. Forty-six of each link. So that's uh, ninety-two. Forty-six of yeah. Of K3. Yeah, and K3 of yeah. Forty-six of each. That's ninety-two. At least we've got no. Yeah, we're interested to build those tracks and see what actually happens with the uh, guide arms. We'll see how we're putting them on at that point, and then we've got them starting to build up the rear. Obviously, you have to make sure we which 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 model you're going to make, with or without zimmer it. And again, we're putting some of the uh, putting the rear part of the rear on and making the uh, sub assemblies the the jack. Not quite sure what that little piece is there. Oh, it's all part of a jack. I see. I see. Let's tell you not to cement the shackles at the bottom. Obviously, there's not cement to move about. So fairly straightforward at the moment. Nothing too difficult to do. And then we're starting the uh, yeah the upper hole. So it's going to make sure it tells you which one you're going to do type one or type or type type two. Zimmer it or no zimmer it. That's fine. I'm just trying to start putting the zimmer on the uh, the front panel and the uh, and on the side, and then a bit of interior for the, the ball mount, which you got the two two options, obviously one with the zimmer, one without. It's uh, no glue on that, so the machine gun should be movable on the front. One would think, and then we're starting to. It's quite detailed inside ball mounted machine gun. That's a pity. You're not going to see it. You know, quite a few delicate little parts there, and you're not going to see it, which is a shame. It's a shame. It looks, it looks, it looks uh, fairly detailed. So you got the, the circle part. That's where you used to put the head underneath that, and uh, the head used to support the uh, weight of the gun. So obviously, when you move your head, the gun moved with it as well. So it's quite. Neat. Unusual that much detail on an internal gun when there's no interior. Then we start with the rear engine head, with the rear engine deck, with all the uh, grab handles and other bits and pieces and the torques. 
lifting eyes, all that kind of stuff. Very straightforward. And then again, PE grills. And then start to put the Pioneer tools, which I never do. I always leave them separate off again. And same with the cable. That was all separate. And there again we're starting on it gives you both sides, so it's a nice look at the both sides are telling you which goes where on both sides instead of just assuming you'll uh, do the same on the other side, which is quite nice. More the whole stuff again. A lot of this stuff I won't be adding. I say there's the PP grills to go on. There's the hammer and spade and one this that and the other. And there's the uh, got, we've got a former for the uh, to bend the uh, the P for the engine deck again, which is a nice idea. So you should be able to bend it to the correct size and whatever. And then we're starting off with the headlights. That looks like that. Yeah, the clear part. Just excuse me two seconds. No, sorry about that. Yeah. So we're still working on the upper hull as well. So. And again, obviously the two different variants you've got. Yeah, this is Type 2. This is without the zimmer. So there's quite a lot of steps, but a lot of them you won't be using if you're doing Type 1 or Type 2. So, you know, just make sure you uh, highlight which, which one you're going to do. And I'd go through the, I'd, I'd go through the instructions and put in a, a green tick that, that you're going to use and a red cross that you're not going to use. And then you don't uh, get too mixed up. Some more. There you go, PE clasp as well for the uh, Pioneer tools again. More engine stuff. This is for. Yeah, this is Type 2. So we've got Type 1, let's just do Type 2 now, which is the same. And then we've got the side skirts to go on. And all the little parts on there for the uh, side skirts to lift onto. That's good. That's different. That's different. That's different. Be interesting putting all them little bits on and uh, for say I won't put them all well I'll put them on but I'll leave some off as of the damage and then we get attaching the lower hull to the upper hull and then we're putting the fenders more shackles on the front again fenders again finishing the fenders off yep oh. yeah bend so we've got a bit of P yeah, to bend onto the uh, little like the brackets on the uh, muck guards, and then the rear muck guards. So we've got a P again at the reverse of it on the uh, reverse of the at the rear of the uh, the tank. All the P will probably be used the same as both variants, and then we start with the cupola. Come on, the cupola with the vision blocks. Clear vision blocks. I've got some masking stuff. I just purchased it this week. I don't know if you think about this liquid mask, Maleo liquid mask, which is 28 850. So I've got some, I bought myself some because I knew I was going to need it at some point. So there again, all fairly straightforward. And then we have our PE on the top of the gun as well. And then we have the Door for the rear, obviously, you've got type 1 and type 2, one with zimmer, one without. And then we're building up the actual barrel next. Let's just pull this over a bit now. Which is fairly straightforward by a bit of detail again. You know, obviously, we've only got a few points and maybe a seam line to pull out. And we're starting to build the breech inside. It's a fairly decent looking breech, fairly detailed. Again, we're not going to receive much. Obviously, when you have the uh, Arch cover open and looking down, you'll probably see it'll be quite nice. You can see the torsion bars at the bottom. And we're still building onto the, uh, got the machine gun, the coaxial machine gun that's fastened to the, uh, the barrel. Okay, and there we are. Finish, there's the finished grump example. And then we're starting to put the, uh, the gun into the lower of the turret once it's built up. No cement. And then we're starting again, obviously, with the Type 1 or Type 2 again. If you want to zimmer it or without zimmer it, tell me where you want them. Cut and remove, blah, blah, blah. Again, 
again. There's one without the Zimmerit. A P going on there. A little bit of internal stuff going in there inside, is it? Yeah, a little bit of interior detail going into the, uh, you know, the mantle on the inside. And then we've got the outside mantle. Bits and bobs on there. And there again. So you've got that little bit of detail inside. And then we're starting to re uh, put the upper hull and the lower hull together. And then the hatches. I'll be open and closed, and they've got this Zimmery coat type 1, type 2, blah blah blah. And again, grab handles, things like that, a bit of P again. And then we're putting file or sand, or uh -huh. depending again which is type 2 and type, yeah, so obviously one without the Zimmery, so it's telling you to uh, file or sand them little parts off. The uh, type two again, file of sand again, the little parts off again, because that was looks like for the um, well, the later versions when they had the what they're called periscope periscopes, something to do with this with the fire the with the aiming of the gun. What the hell they're called again? Brain's gone dead again. It was one each side. Rage finders, rage finders. So take them off and then finito we have low hull type 2 low hull done without zimmer it on this one and type 1 is the zimmer it right, so it's an interesting build not in death build really for £26.80 very impressed be a long build I would thought but once you get into the kits and start getting them together it's, it's not too bad so for £26.80 I'm very impressed, hopefully it'll go together as good as it looks, which I'm sure it will be new sort of new tooling, um, worth, 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 worth looking at, definitely worth looking at. So I think we'll call it uh, finito, so I'd just like to say thank you to all my subscribers again, all the new ones that I'm picking up again and the obviously the nice support that I'm getting from the older for my first subscribers and people getting positive comments and uh, getting helpful comments as well which is nice which is nice um, yeah I think that's it yeah so this is Greg signing off and we'll catch you very 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 soon with the update again on the Meng on the Meng Whippet so it's Greg signing off and we'll catch you again <laughs>